I mean, we are doing another ACW 1.5 Napoleon mod. We are today playing as the Americans going up against the Confederacy. Um, took a little bit of time with this. I've got a lot of uh, mixed match troops. My ally is primarily based of Pennsylvania and Ohioans. We're still in our initial setup. Uh, I am really, really trying to learn this. Um, it is really an extensive mod. Um, I'm, I'm really, really liking it. We've got a lot of main regiments. We have a good mix of everybody. Pennsylvania, New Yorkers, Wisconsin, New Jersey, Vermont. A lot of main regiments. Um, so. I haven't played this map as of yet, so I'm bringing it to you as a fresh, fresh map. Don't know anything about it, but we're going to have some fun with it today. Again, this is the Wilson's Creek map. Let's just take a little little gander at her. Quite a beautiful map. A lot going on. So yeah. Um, yeah. I actually joined. Um, well, I'll talk while I deploy. I'm actually kind of excited. I have joined a Discord group that is on this mod which when you download it you have the ability to join the discord right away let's go ahead and get our men moving while we're talking and again I know nothing of this map so everything's just gonna kinda be trial and error I wanna get to about halfway in the map and I think this would be a good position to put our cannons. I don't know why they are half running and half are not. Now they're all running. That's odd. I didn't want them to run. For those of you who do not know, this mod is very, very... See, they're still running and... Walk don't want you guys exhausted whatever you guys want to run more power to you so here we are this is what we got our men are just gone and they're already winded just from that slight run that's why you never run your troops this mod takes that into effect Now, from what I have read in the Discord, there is a new version that you can download within the Discord itself. It's version 1.6.8, I believe. And some exciting news. Creek's Battle has invited me to a new Discord. And it is um, called Mount Olympus, where they actually hold and host tournaments. That's right. I will actually be getting involved in a tournament, which is extremely exciting I am uh, I'm very amped for that let's see what units this they're going there so what we're gonna do is take up positions here so as I will be getting into some tournaments I am trying to get myself to where I know the game a little better I'm trying to learn the maps a little more Where's my general? We're going to place him up here. We can't leave the general out. Uh, I, yeah, I know they're tired, but they're going to have to go. Now, my cannons are going to get in place prior to my infantry, and I don't know if this is going to be good, bad, or ugly, but we are going to give it a hell of a go. There's all my troops just slowly making their way to the front lines. Most of these men are probably dreading the day. 
Many of them will die. A good many of soldiers are going to die today. It is a very, very sad thing. However, it is the cost of peace. So, it looks like I've staged my men damn near literally half on the map. We've already got Cav moving in, so this is kind of a, a bad thing. So what I'm going to do is stop my... I'm going to stop my artillery from running for just a moment. I'm a little scared of that Cav just coming in and decimating this, ca this uh, cannon unit, artillery unit, however you'd like to call them, but... We want to get our infantry a little closer. Now, I have no cav. I opted to not take cav. And it does look... Like their cav is moving in hardcore. What's this? No, nope, they're moving cannon up fast. So they've got their cannons moving forward, and uh, it's going to be a long, hard-fought battle today, I believe. I really, really do. Uh, now, yesterday I was just goofing around, playing. I did a 4v4. Of course, it was seven of them were AI, and I was the only real player, but uh, my computer didn't like it. But I'm actually kind of shocked, because I have a, a relatively good computer. But yeah, my, my computer wasn't happy. Oh, and my artillery already taking fire. Let's see, we've got the second Florida Light Cavalry. That's a damn good unit. I used them yesterday, and I tell you what, they were impressive. I think that one unit alone got 600 kills. It was insane. We're going to go ahead and unlimber these cannons and restage where these men will be going. Is that a... Okay, that's, that's an ally. That's a good thing. We're going to station these men like so. We'll take the first and move them into this forest because here comes the... Jelly old confederates. Confederates, not confederans. And I'm already taking damage. I lost one get one cannon out of here already. So we need to get... We need to get opening up. And of course the AI being the... I don't know why they broke. Must have been an ally shooting a cannon. But uh, yeah, classic AI. They're going to charge a general in. That's real intelligent. We're going to go ahead and answer their uh, cannons with cannons, however, though. We need to get them going. Oh my god, their cannons just sniping my cannons, you bastards. We're going to have to hold our cannon fire for one moment until our troops get through. We don't want to destroy our own men. Might be able to go ahead and march the third all the way up. We got a first, second, and third grouping. We're gonna march that third grouping up on the flank of our first. I believe that is the first. Yep. I want to target their damn howitzers. Those howitzers are extremely painful. Now, hopefully, I can clear that ridge. Oh, I'm not going to clear that ridge. I didn't realize I have really. Oh, their howitzers just scored a great hit. Okay, well, my cannons did do some damage. Let's go ahead and target these men.
Right, my men are taking up positions. We got an artillery unit coming in over here. That's not going to be very, very good. We got another artillery over here. Oh, that howitzer is just going to decimate men. Hey, Phoenix. Good to see you, buddy. Thanks for joining. I'm getting my ass kicked by the Confederate artillery at the moment. Oh, my first division's taking a beating. Not losing a ton of men yet, but that howitzer's... It's going to start affecting the morale of my men. And the cow uh, I, we are good. We are good. How are you today? You could be better. That's not good, buddy. If you need to talk, you know I'm here. Just shoot me a message. I hope you're going to be all right. I'm going to restation those men on a slight angle because we do have a lot of South and North Carolinians coming through over here. My troops are the only mixed troops. Most of these um, are South Carolina and North Carolina troops. Most of these are going to be Georgia troops with a little bit of mixed. We're going to let these guys fire at will. We're going to use this one to target just them howitzers. The howitzers are kind of scary. And my ally has already lost their howitzers. That's not a great thing to see. Where are you going? Why are you going? Just to pr just personal issues stressing me out and making me a bit depressed. Is there anything I can do to make it better, buddy? I mean, I really hate hearing that. Why is the light artillery moving all the fucking way? Dude, you're going to get opened up on the... The artificial ignorance of this game. we got a lot of Georgians coming through these woods here. And uh, my front line's starting to open up. Nice opening volley. Very nice of these ones. Yeah, there we go. Giving some casualties now. Oh. My ally has decided to go all the way over here and do something. I mean I'd say I'd fly over and buy you a drink, but <laughs> I don't I don't have that much money to fly over right now, but we gotta meet up sometime and hang out. Oh, and there we go. We broke that howitzer. That's a good thing to see. We needed that. Yeah, I mean, hell, man. I've known you for over a year now. It, it very well could be, too. Well, no, I think you're right. You were 17 when we first started talking about ARC. So, yeah. Jesus. Been a long time, bud. Why does my line look at it? Oh. Okay. Sorry about that. I am the streaming dad. My kids are home because of uh, Easter vacation. And I just noticed that my 96 Pennsylvania was out of line. And that was really not going to be good. As my own men would be shooting them in the back. 
So, on the bright side, we did get rid of that howitzer unit that was causing so much devastation. Let's go ahead and give our front line some support. Let's see what I can get with this. Let's go ahead and target the first Georgia regulars. kind of want to re-angle these troops move them forward Let's see. I'm going to move them a little farther forward here unfortunately I am going to run them though because I want them into position quick Georgia Artillery Battalion. Oh, and listen to the crack of them guns. It's beautiful. Try and get some views here. We got the 63rd Pennsylvania over here fighting. We got the 20th South Carolina moving dangerously close. Why are you moving? Um, right now. This might break a unit, but I want that cav unit or that cannon unit gone. Oh, I hope you're gonna be all right, man. That's that's not a good thing to hear at all. Um, Jesus. Let me see here. Multitasking, multitasking. Yep, destroy them. Don't let them. Don't let them set that already up. Uh, 20th Georgia boys holding up. I got my 2nd Division firing hardcore. 32nd Georgia is standing up against them. My phone's being a piece of shit. Oh, mercy. Look at this clump of Georgians coming at me. This is scary. We need to quickly reline these men. Get them firing again. And this is going to be an epic Confederate charge. Oh! 5th Florida Battalion riding in hard and getting a shot in. Come on, boys. Hold them. 2nd Rhode Island and the 5th Maine holding off. Got the 96th Pennsylvania trying to hold. Getting flanked by a small force of the South Carolina Militia. Oh, a lot to see. A lot to see here. I'm trying, guys. Look at these dead bodies racking up. We gotta get more artillery support. And we are holding off the Georgians. A lot of Georgia boys over here. My dear God, the sounds of the battle. Got a lot of North Carolina boys, South Carolina boys over here fighting with the Georgians. Trying to take out my second division while I'm getting hammered by this uh, 24 pound howitzers. But we are holding so far. We have more Confederates emerging out of the forest. 63rd Georgia just marching straight up. Brave, brave men. And my 96 Pennsylvania here. They're not going to be holding too well. Who's breaking? Alright, we've got a lot of Georgia breaking. They will come back. Looks like we got an active melee right here. 25th South Carolina.
Alright, I've got some breaking going. They're just overwhelming our position. I'm going to have to realign myself quickly. Second Rhode Island just couldn't handle it. Oh, that's a bad alignment. Come on, gentlemen, run. 96th over here by themselves. They are going to get overran. That is going to happen. Oh my god, look at these men just pouring out of the forest. Redirect our cannon fire all over here. So far, we're holding firm. This damn 5th Florida Cavalry, though, they're racking the kills. How's the 96th Pennsylvania holding up? They're holding. They're dropping, but they're getting ready to be charged. This unit will be failing soon. Hold them firm, 96th. Hold firm. Oh, my God. They're getting charged by... Two units, 22nd and the 7th South Carolina. Oh, 22nd decided to halt charge, get a volley in. The 7th isn't stopping. Kershaw's boys. We got the 4th Georgia Cavalry coming in to support them. Shooting their own men in the back. Get back over here to the juicier parts of the battle. Our first division is holding the forest pretty well, but our second's in very immediate danger of getting overran. These are some massive units. This 48th North Carolina, 680 men. Where'd this happen at? Yep, 96 just failed. Can't really blame them, and uh, my ally marching up would be a great thing. I'm holding back two full armies my ally just in the rear twiddling his thumbs come on boys and we're getting charged up and down the right flank 96th may come back I don't know about this second Rhode Island they've lost over a hundred men they're already exhausted my first division though the New Yorkers with one pence nope, all New Yorkers are holding. New York line is doing great. Confederates are pushing hard though to flank us on our left. Weary, oh, did they come back? For order, Let's get them out before they break again. We're gonna get them out. Nope, they already broke. They came back just to re-break. They're, they're done. They're used up. But they did their job. And here we go. Our ally is forcing his way in now. He's going to support us on our right, which is great. That's where we need it. Our right is not doing well. Going to pull back all of our units. Can I get them all? I think I missed one. I did. We're going to pull back all of our units on a rapid retreat. We are getting flanked, and that is not a pretty thing. 96 Pennsylvania that makes no signs of attempting to stop. They held off against a lot of cav and a lot of infantry. They've done their job for the day. We're going to have to take these charges. And the battle's been going on for 25 minutes. These men have got to be getting tired. But I cannot stop. 
Cannons are racking up kills. That's a good thing. We've got three chev chevrons just on one of them. One of them, of course, has none. We got a lot of breaking, a lot of returning. They're pushing hard. Where else are they routing from? Where's this unit at? Reposition, boys. Reposition. We're starting to falter up and down our lines. Our ally, though, coming in with a lot of Ohioans. A lot of Ohio and Pennsylvania boys moving in on our right to cover us. That's what we need. We need you on the right. I'm in desperate need of reinforcements. Where's this unit at? Oh, the 96th is actually coming back. Let's try to get them out of here. We might be able to save the 96th if they don't break again. They had 195 men when they broke, and now they're down to 165. But they did one hell of a job. Our third line is holding pretty strong at the moment. The Confederates are going to have a hard time charging through them trees. However, the drawback to that is my men are going to have a hard time shooting through them damn trees. The second over here reformed and remanned. Double stacked. That's not a good thing. We're going to be shooting our own men. Got to get that out of there. 23rd Pennsylvania breaking. They will return. We're just going to let our cannons fire at will now. I'm going to pull our men back. They've got a rest. We're going to pull them all the way back. Try to form the 96th up with them. We'll let our allies do some of the fighting now. My men are tired. They've taken casualties. Our front line of New Yorkers, they're doing great. However, they are going to start getting field fire from the left-hand flank. And look at these dead bodies. We're just racking up a body count. Howitzer's still coming in. Unleashing hell on my men. This unit did return. I try to get them back up. Longstreet's 8th South Carolina. Kershaw's boys. That is not where I... I didn't place them like that. What? I must have done a misclick here. Let's see. Second division. My men are way out of position. I did not notice that. And that is going to be very, very costly. Oh, yeah. My men are going to get chewed up on this side. 95th Pennsylvania. They're going to take some damage. 96th is making its way over. Our allies are in the forest fighting and attacking. My 2nd Division is still retreating. Where's this unit? Are they going to come back? Second Rhode Island. I really thought they'd come back, but they don't seem to want to. Can't really blame them. War is hell, and right now, 
We're at the gates. Confederates are... F Ooh, Confederates are charging. Oh, you boys really need to form up. Got more Pennsylvania. A little bit of Michigan troops moving in. Reinforcing in the center. We are slowly making progress on the left. That is a absolutely superb thing to see. Maybe we shouldn't move them because right now a lot of North Carolina boys are coming through with Georgia boys through them fields. Forests. <coughs> 50th Pennsylvania, the Christ Brigade, and there, there, my allies are doing a good job at holding. We've just, we've got to let our men rest. Most of these units are now fresh and tired, mixed, tired, fresh, fresh, fresh. We got a lot of fresh, but a lot of tireds. And we're just gonna hang back. <coughs> My second division has done enough for the day, I believe. We are going to turn their fire at will off, though, so they don't fire into our own allies. Let's go ahead and run these men, get them into position. All in all, my men have held off two armies for a very long time. The New York is just holding like a stone wall themselves. Jackson would be proud of these men. More Confederates coming out of the tree line. 51st North Carolina, 64th Georgia. Yes, and our allies are just sweeping through. A lot of tired, a lot of exhausted men moving forward. We probably should go ahead and march the second back in nice and slow because I see a lot of my allies troops breaking very soon they're gonna be in an active melee and they're already tired and exhausted my first and second brigades they're holding great my third just got so overwhelmed and overran so quick We've got a massive melee battle on our right, and the Confederates are just pouring men in. Listen to the gunfire. Confederates and Union soldiers mixed everywhere. Anywhere you aim, anywhere you shoot, you're going to hit a soldier. You're going to stab a soldier. Huge, massive melee. We got the 54th, 51st North Carolina charging into the fray, trying to stop the onslaught of these Ohioans. Oh, Ohio and Pennsylvania is in the fray. My second division, or third division, is still moving into uh, position. I have a feeling that they are going to be in an active combat situation very soon. As my ally has got to be getting... Yeah, these men are exhausted, tired, exhausted. Before long, we're going to see a mass rout on both sides, I believe. Everybody's tired, everybody's exhausted. It's been a long battle. And these Georgians, they just won't quit. Oh, we got some breaking. We got some South Carolinans breaking. We got some Georgia breaks. We've got a lot of breaking and a lot of fighting. We're going to stay over here where it's nice and juicy. That's a screenshot if I ever saw it. The Georgia boys just will not stop. Oh, and we got 
What we got over here? We got Georgia Cavalry. We got a general facing off against the 23rd Ohio. There we go. The, the Georgians, they just can't keep holding it back. My left flank still heavily fighting. We're going to hold our fire on the 2nd Division as my allies are marching in front of me. We don't want to shoot them in the back. We're going to move our division, 3rd Division, on up into support. Honestly, didn't think my ally was not going to break here, but they are holding firm and the Confederates are breaking and breaking and breaking. We may have cleared out the right flank. Second Division needs to be ready to stand by. South Carolinans and North Carolinans mustering everything they got for another charge. But it is all over, folks. They don't have enough. We're going to hold our fire on our cannons as our own allies are mixed in with the enemy. And I don't want to destroy our own allied men. Ah, uh, here we go. Alright, our 2nd Division is going to have to start opening fire. They're starting to break and waver. The Confederates are mustering pretty heavy. Oh, I forgot this one little unit all out here by himself. Let's go ahead and move them one up. Majority of the battle's taking place almost in the center now. It is winding down. Our third division is in place, but I do not believe our ally will need us on that side. And I tell you what, for holding off two armies as long as we did, we lost a lot of good men, but I think we did very, very well. Let's go ahead, come all the way out here and start looking at these bodies. I need to slow my camera angle down. Look at all these dead Confederates and Union soldiers. My God. I mean, this has been a devastating battle. Heavy losses on both sides and the Confederate taking the majority of them. Balance of power is already massively in our favor. It looks like we've taken care of that 5th Florida Dragoon unit. 4th Georgia Cavalry over here trying to hold off, let their troops retreat, giving them covering fire, but... It's, it's all but over. We even got cannon crew coming over here to fight. 
Uh, looks like one volley from my second division seen off almost all of the enemy, allowing our ally to go ahead and push forward with his fight. We're going to hold fire with all of our divisions so we don't continually shoot our allies in the back. Where's that goddamn cannon coming from? Or is that our allies' cannon firing? Could well be. Just alone in this forest. Look at the dead. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, I do believe this battle will be over. We have one unit over here just holding like a mo. We've got the 48th North Carolina, the biggest unit on the field. And they are holding. Go ahead and... See if we can march these units shoot in the back of these men because they are holding like the the amount of men they had was remarkable and I believe they just broke yep they have broken and there it is ladies and gentlemen we deployed just 40 shy of 6,000 so we out we outnumbered them about by 2,000 men I lost about a thousand, but I've killed three thousand six hundred and seventy-two. The our ally lost almost six hundred, killing just a little less than us, considering they were late to the battle. Confederates, however, you know, fielding almost eighty-two hundred men did not do that well. This would have probably been a good time for them to call up a third army, but we may do that in the future. That whole fight lasted 42 minutes. And it was just terrible for the Confederacy. But anyway, that was the Battle of Wilson's Creek. That was a great fight. I really enjoyed that. Might do a Wilderness Tavern next. I don't know. I want to go through and do every single solitary map, but I am... Really looking forward to doing this tournament with Creek's Battle. He is also a streamer. Um, I've watched some of his videos and they actually look really, really good. However, with all that being said, I am going to end the stream here and get that downloaded and ready to be posted. If you guys enjoy this, please hit that follow button. I am gaining followers by the day, and you have no idea how much that means to me. Also, jump over to YouTube, Patriot Cultivator, without the underscore, without the 420. Drop any comment you like, even if you just want to tell me I'm trash and you can kick my butt. I'll take any comment I can get. If you want to set up a co-stream or a fight with me, jump on over into YouTube, drop a comment, let me know you'd like to have a battle, and we will definitely do that. I'll even stream it if you'd like. So, if you guys need anything in that time, just let me know. Uh, Phoenix, I think I'm actually good at the moment. I do want to talk to you about setting up a secondary Discord, though, so when people play games with me, they can be on one chat for one team and one chat for another team. That way we're not all listening to strategies and things, but you can probably walk me through that pretty good. I mean, like... Asking, I want to do something. Oh, you want to do something for me. Well, I mean, you don't have to, but of course you could always do something for me if you'd like. I'm going to end this stream real quick, though, Phoenix, and I will jump over to uh, Messenger Chat. I want to talk to you and make sure you're alright and see if there's anything I can do to help. But uh, As always, guys, 
thank you. It's not if it's not completely fine. I want to go onto your Twitch and set it up all nice and want to look at you. Yeah, most definitely. I mean, hell, I'll take any help I can get. Um, I will jump over into Facebook messages to talk to you. But in the meantime, everybody, thanks for your time. Thanks for that follow, and thanks for just hanging out. I will talk to you all later with the next battle. Peace.